so that's more or less it for me this week. Uh, I played... Like, I played so many sequels. Like, Pizza Tower isn't a sequel. And, like, Stranger of Paradise technically isn't a sequel, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, RE4 sure is. And RE4 is a remake of a sequel. And it's a sequel in its own right. Ooh. So, like, I can't just... I can't stop thinking about sequels. Particularly, we talk about games a lot. And how... <laughs> Ooh. And how, like sequels seem derivative in most mediums but like here they're fantastic in general and i started thinking a lot about like how i feel about sequels and like what my personal favorite sequel has been or what it could be and i think i know what it is i think my favorite sequel to anything would be me a sequel to me where uh, you know what? Here, so you're setting up the bit. Go ahead. What I'm trying to say, Wooly, is that I am going to be a father. Congratulations. That Thank is you. wild. Holy. I'll admit, I'm a little shaky right now. Um, yeah. So we're going to have a baby. And it's. Wow. And it is, we are going to have Pat to the sequel. That is a, not the final name. Okay. We, Don't we have junior a, we it. Have a, we have a list, but we haven't fully decided on. Uh, but for now, we'll just go with the sequel to me. Uh, okay. Congratulations. That's uh, that's one hell of a way to uh, one up the the move from yesterday, from last week, rather. <laughs> oh, you want it? You want so I uh, so now I I'll be I have a lot more to talk about this week. Holy! Fire. I was gonna talk about it last week. I was sitting here, just kind of getting myself psyched up, and then I notice you're in a different location, and I'm like, and you're like, I moved. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna do it now. I don't want to be wow. that guy. Who wants to be that guy? <laughs> Holy oh, yeah. Okay. <gasps> What's going on? So, this has been a long time coming. This has been uh, the plan for many years. Um, you probably remember I used to be a guy who was like, having babies is stupid. Mm -hmm. And people who have kids are dumb. I don't know what it is, but at some point I was in a grocery store and I saw some kid in a, in a little, in, you know, in the, in the basket going like, you know, doing the baby flail and like laughing. And I went, oh, that kid's cute. And I went, uh oh. Mm hmm. Uh oh. There, uh oh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. There it is. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. And that was a while ago. Mm hmm. So. Let's see. Moved out of Quebec to mm -hmm. BC. Lost a bunch of weight. Started eating real healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, got this separate office so that you guys can't hear anything if there's anything in the house. Right? So, the, like, basically all of these things have been, uh, uh, like, prep for, for a long time. Like, yes. this has been... Uh, and uh so we we made the decision we're gonna we're gonna start right where everything's ready we're gonna start the process of having the baby and uh wouldn't you know it first shot first try immediately immediately congrats congrats so That's we're crazy. we're where it's the, it's the month that we started trying and Paige is sitting there and she's stealing food off my plate. <laughs> she is just grabbing it. She is just just taking it from me and eating it. I go, that's weird. And then she went to mop the floor and then looked at the dirty water and had to run to the bathroom and barf. And uh, and this is this is like 10 days wow. into the de into the decision of the start of the process wow and i'm like are you pregnant she's like no that's ridiculous sure enough 
many pregnancy tests later, she absolutely is pregnant. Holy shit. That's crazy. And, um, like, there's a lot of parts of this story. I actually wrote down a little list of things that I wanted to talk about. First of all, everything is great. All the scans are perfect. Everything is normal. Paige's health is fantastic. There is only one detail that came out on the ultrasound of note, and that is, unfortunately, my boy will be inheriting my tiny legs. It's, it's even visible on the ultrasound. Oh, okay. And you have boy confirmed. Boy confirmed, yeah. Okay. Both by uh, blood test and by ultrasound. Um, <laughs> this I, this even goes oh, back shit. a long time to like when me and Paige took our twenty three and Me tests, right? Got to make sure there's yep. there's nothing waiting in the wings on that, and right. there wasn't. Perfect. Right, right, right. Um, and I went through the pro and I I was like, you know what? This isn't, you know, all I, I want to make sure to do this right. And I want to make sure that everything's fine. So we went through the process of getting everything checked out uh, a couple years ago. I tell you, Wooly, getting your boys checked out at the doctor mm -hmm. for this purpose mm -hmm. is deeply awkward. Really? It is. It is. It is so, so awkward because it's always a young woman working the desk who hands you the cup and says, well, you can mm -hmm. go in that room and um, use your thing. phone or whatever. You do what you got to do. And you uh, just bring it back and hand it to me. And when you're all on, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's. It's so weird. I don't... <laughs> it's, that's science. You, you got to do it for science, man. But it's when you get when you get your nice little sheet that says, "Hey, thumbs hey. up." Hey, yeah. Right? I'm a little fat, right? I'm like that can affect it. So let, I'll I'll check it out. I'm like, no, nope, no problem. Turns out, Wooly, uh, I really am secretly a Frenchman <laughs> because. There's nothing stopping these swimmers. Okay. At all. Okay. <laughs> so good for me. Ha ha. God damn. Okay. Well, uh, all that's left is the, the mental game. Oh, yeah. Right? Getting in. Yeah. So getting in, into that. Inter intermittent um, excitement uh, and like a new kind of excitement. Mm -hmm. Like a like a weird pride excitement mm -hmm. and terror. You know, I'm just thinking this goes this this even goes all the way back to like when we got Zangief. Mm -hmm. Like, why'd you get a bulldog? Well, we wanted a dog that was excellent with children. Right? A lazy, friendly dog that would be really good around a baby. Um, <sighs> um I do have I do have a, I, I forgot to mention it. So Paige is eating everything and everything makes her throw up. And then she had to go to the dentist. Uh, so I don't know if you know this, but when you are newly pregnant, your gums are a like explosion of blood. Oh, so she's getting her teeth cleaned. And she is like, blood is like shooting out of her mouth whoa like just like a wash with blood lady goes oh, that's crazy you're not pregnant are you sure enough wow okay okay so there's signs yeah 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 i was just actually like uh just literally today um i found out that like apparently your hair pauses growing i don't know about that there's like a thing where your hair pauses growing as well when that happens. So like there's a couple of things that are just like un like not often mentioned little details that are like, oh yeah, when you get pregnant, like all kinds of shit starts to change. Well, huh. I can tell you what. 
Oh, uh, Paige just messaged me that her hair is actually, in fact, growing like crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and well. I can tell you that um, you get to find out all sorts of things about mm -hmm. the miracle of pregnancy, mm -hmm. uh, including Paige has like three times as much blood per volume as usual. Wow. Just, just carry lots and lots of blood. Okay. And um, so uh, uh, this is the like, I guess, what time frame are you looking at here? Uh, so, it will come as a surprise to many, but, uh, Paige is actually five and a half months along. Okay. Um. Imminent. Okay. Um, and, uh, baggy clothes are powerful weapons <laughs> in terms of hiding the bump. Damn. Because okay. there is a bump. Okay. Um, and, but we're, we're hit, we're hitting the, we're hitting the realistic limits yeah. of how much a, a baggy hoodie can do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's about as magic as you can fucking get. Uh, wow. <laughs> so for those of you who follow Paige's streams, uh, Paige has been pregnant since all the way back in Disco Elysium. That's crazy. Holy shit. Um, Damn. Camera angles, clothing, <laughs> like figuring um, that shit out. That's wild. Okay. Wow. Um, so, um, <laughs> oh, I'm, it's, so the, the trip to Tofino was not explicitly a honeymoon. It was also a baby moon. Mm -hmm. uh you know the last you know one last big hurrah on a nice place before we're going to be locked down a little bit more taking care of our infant child mm -hmm, um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh poor page so you know pregnancy symptoms vary wildly yeah this woman had the morning sickness for like four months like just jeez hey did any food that gets you at all is it in the house Ugh. like just 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 constant constant gagging um so Paige has always had a great sense of smell um she can smell food that's not in the house she can smell things from like 200 feet away like it's so powerful and then it makes her gag. Well, that that time has passed, thankfully. Okay. Jeez. Um, uh, wow. But again, to reiterate, because I know that people would be worried, Paige is in the peak of health. Actually, never been better. Mm. Uh, and we have our doctors monitoring her as they would. Just absolutely A-plus across the board. Other than the fact... That she's having to deal with the fact that you know how the Grinch's heart grew three sizes one day. Mm -hmm. That will happen to your wife's chest. Right. Yes. This is and this is what is known. it is. I'm looking at my <laughs> wife and I don't know how she walks around without tipping over. Mm -hmm. It is out of control. Yeah, that that is one of the symptoms that we hear about pretty often. There's there's yeah. a lot. Well, you yeah, because you're like <laughs> boobies. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um uh shit yeah well so i mean that's the thing though like like in terms of like timelines and such like it just that that's that, it makes sense because um like i think like there's similar ideas in that like okay you have where you were before and then mm -hmm. you want to and the, like step one is you figure out like a vehicle and step two is you figure out a house and step mm -hmm. three is you figure out the plan, you know? Yeah. And, and that's, that's exactly it. And, and I feel like, um, yeah, like that, it, it just, it lines up one, two, three. So um, the part of the plan, um, was, you know, we want to move to a bigger space mm -hmm. because the space that we were at was great for being single or, you know, young couple. Uh, and we're going through the process. And I'm like, and I put my foot down and I'm like, not in Quebec, mm -hmm. not doing it, 
not not just because of you know the the bad experiences that we had where we used to live uh page was more than willing to find some place like on the west island or something like that right mm -hmm. and then like as we're discussing the plan i'm like reading the news and like oh cool more language laws coming down the pipe mm. more of them including like uh uh quotas on Sejeps and where you could go to school mm -hmm. and i'm just like i'm not i'm not doing this with a kid and then i talked to my dad mm -hmm. who is obviously very sad to see us go and he's like if i was your age then and i could do yeah i would have done it i'm like good okay. thanks dad appreciate it that that meant a lot um has, so gotta get somewhere with the you know room for the for yeah. baby good schools all that stuff so i mean that's something that like uh i did see I, I did see a lot of that stuff and i mean full disclosure like you know getting a place like like this is mm -hmm. also part of that timeline right yeah it that's, is. It, that's exactly what we're lining up and you can't the last place had no closed doors so it's insane you know you need closed doors to make I'll, this I'll be, work look, the conversation did happen where we're sitting around like, what the fuck is that guy gonna do with no closed doors yeah no the answer is door. exactly so then this is the step to get that and then now we have the closed doors so we can figure out the rest the thing mm -hmm. with like um the quebec and everything like i have been talking to um, some of my family members that have been growing up and the way they've been going to school here. And um, it's it's pretty interesting because before there used to be like French immersion, English immersion, and then different levels mm -hmm. of like integration. They now have programs that are right down the middle, 50-50 bilingual. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, overall, like I was, I was, I had worries about how that was going to go down for like you know kids in the in the language yeah. stuff and i got really encouraging word news about that from the kids in my family currently you know okay and it was it was overall pretty like it, it wasn't as bad as i thought and then there was a level of that too where um uh since uh not just here but like with with uh, uh, um, Punch Mom's Acadian roots, there's a level of French yeah. that we do want to exist, you know? Of course. Um, like, I'll be very blunt. This kid's gonna know a second language. Yeah, it's it's, it's just it's useful. Just, it's just don't know what that's... That second language is no longer assigned by default. Right, right, okay, yeah. It's just useful to have that, you know? Um, but... Again, we've 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 talked about this type of stuff, and to me, I fucking I just love this city uh, like so mm -hmm. much, and I I don't see myself ever living leaving it. Like we've talked about that um, years ago too. I remember a while while back, you know. But like, um, yeah, it's just it's something that I just the, the 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 things that that matter to me when I when it comes down to it are are uh, things I hold dear about. Right. This, you know, the places I love in the and and. I mean, what's going to work differently for anybody is 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 not my place to judge or even comment on, right? I think this is going to be the best for for the baby, mm -hmm. uh, in the long term. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I have to be a responsible man now. Yeah, I have to. I, have, I can't so, just think about about so me and the wife. The I gotta, I gotta think about about little little pat jr and what's best for him lamaze classes and, and whatever the fuck yeah oh. okay okay yeah so so a lot of this new found new era of uh plaid wearing and responsibility it falls into into place a little bit you've been prepping for what's to yeah. come and you've well, been I gotta get the, I'm in BC. I gotta wear the plaid so that I can I can hang out with the other dads. Of course. But you've also gotta become somebody who's like taking on this responsibility. Well, I have to tell you, there's part of this, there's a part of this that only you will ever understand. You know how you saw your parents say or do stupid shit, but it's like a childhood memory, and you're like, ah, that was funny. But you never actually got to see your parent embarrass themselves constantly. Uh huh. Holy, there is so much footage of me saying the stupidest things in the world and being cringe. A lifetime. A lifetime of cringe available. To video and audio. To my son. 
them to see. <laughs> and and it will not be left behind in a different area. It, it's right there. there and it's going to it's going to continue to be yes. I've had this thought. I've had this <laughs> thought deeply long and I've I've really sat and just went there's infinite footage of nonsense. Whatever the fuck like, you think you're going to pretend to be is that that like facade will come down the moment they get online. Wooly, I, I have been on this show and on my show and on your show for years being like, hey, kids, you know, don't use condoms. Just don't. Terrible. They feel awful. Just don't use them. And now when I'm going to be raising a son, I'm going to have to explain to him that was a joke. That, ah, jokes. Ah, funny jokes. <laughs> also, don't do crack cocaine. Yeah. Don't, yep. yeah. don't do it. I mean, <laughs> like, you don't even have to worry. Of, like, even if access is, like, even if they don't get to hear or see it, the titles of the content <laughs> just the, this po this podcast has become an albatross around is, the it neck is a liability. of my future reputation <laughs> it is it is it is it is absolutely a liability um yeah no i've i've thought long and deep uh, and hard about exactly this and the day that it would come that it'd be like okay well chicken's coming so, home to roost now what you know I feel, I feel, I feel kind of bad because, like, you know, uh, we went and got the ultrasound, and we got like a a, a private ultrasound that has like a it has like a, a better like 4D view, so you can really see. And um, we're looking at we're looking at little baby Pat Junior, and we're like, okay, well, there's the short legs, and um, that just looks like my baby photos. <laughs> that that is like. My so, wife, who is doing all of the hard work, is just cloning me. And so, now I'm sitting here going, oh, no, there's going to be a clone of me. You have around. you have you have there's two choices you have when it comes to uh, reconciling all of this. Right. And one is the deep, deep warranted shame of what you've what you've created over these years and have put out there onto the internet archive forever. And the second option is to quadruple down and yell that yeah. these that that colostomy bag joke paid for yeah. your fucking tuition. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, listen. You don't Make judge how I provide for you. If I'm going <laughs> to if I'm going to put on the clown makeup and dance and have the pies thrown at me, then that's that's what we're going to do so you can I can put food on your table, mister. That fucking, that sore orifice joke paid for dinner and will continue to do so. So you accept that. <laughs> Ali, yeah. Ali, I'm, I'm, Ali, I'm doomed. I was such a smart ass when I was a kid. And you're like, well, okay, maybe the kid won't take after me. Guess who else was a smart ass as a child? My wife. There's no hope, man. That kid's going to run circles around me. They're going to call me cringe. Uh, I'm boomering out here, man. Oh, God. You'll never be based again. <laughs> Was I ever based, dude? <laughs> like, one can have based takes without ever actually being based themselves. <laughs> I think, I think, I think that's, that's a required uh, understanding. Um, God uh, damn. God I've been, damn. I've been like... I've been like this whole stream. I gotta admit, I've been I've been mm -hmm. twitching. Mm -hmm. This this is this is mm -hmm. the biggest thing that will ever happen. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's so exciting, but it's also very scary because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. I mean, bigger, dumber people have also had kids <laughs> yeah so. like our parents so you know you know what i'm just thinking i just told a story today about my dad going you know you don't need to be careful around electricity and then watching him like electrocute himself nearly to death to fix a vcr i'm mm -hmm. like you know what i could just mm -hmm. why don't i just stay away from that yeah i'll just i'll just not do that yep 
yep, you can start applying extra levels of that's unnecessary. You have no reason for that. Um, I was just like, I was listening to a, a podcast and they were talking about like, you know, the whole, you know, parenthood and, and all that thing and, and the, the worries and the frets and the thoughts and the stresses and all the things that run through your mind. And, yeah. um, it was pretty cool because there was like a, 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 a takeaway that someone had, everyone has these little bits, but the, a, a simple one yeah. there was like, don't worry too much about all that stuff because all they really need is you. Yeah. Right? And I'm cool and likable. That's not what I'm saying. Damn Just it. be present <laughs> and, you know, be there. And and as long as you're there and they're, yeah. like, fully able to get that from you, it'll, <sighs> it'll work itself out. It'll be okay. So, so I mean, obviously, eagle-eyed and eagle-eared viewers will have seen little bits and pieces of this uh uh in the past you know year or so um but like i'm starting to change like my my head my my i'm i am i am starting to morb and there's one specific moment that stands out really clearly and like oh i'm already like very significantly starting to change I was playing RE4 Remake on stream and I shot some dude with a shotgun and he flew the fuck apart into a million pieces. And I went, you know, when I was 11, I played the Resident Evil games and those were really violent. But like, that's different. This is really crazy violent. I can't believe people would let their 10 year olds play this. I'm like, oh my God, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's already mm -hmm. starting. It's already starting. The shift. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Boy. And people have noticed that my jokes are getting worse. Of course they're getting worse. They're dad jokes now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Right, like does 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 uh. Does Pat Starrett enter the, the PG era? <laughs> no, no, there's no hope of that. After the Attitude era comes the PG. No, in, there's no hope of that because like I'm you're sitting there in the in the you know in the 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 natal appointments right, and you're like don't the, don't swear at the doctor. Don't I know you're nervous. So don't 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 call something a motherfucker in the in the doctor's office when you're looking at the ultrasound. Come on, don't. Be be cool. Be like a be like a presentable human adult. Okay, did it. <laughs> it's just there's like it's always gonna fall apart the moment they go. Okay, and so what do you do? What's your what's your your profession? Like there's just a moment where you're just like yeah yeah YouTube. <laughs> it's just it, you YouTube can't and, and Twitch. You uh, can't you can't hold that 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 fucking facade up, but. Oh man! Congratulations. That's fucking uh, we, we, wild. We've, uh, That's... So we're announcing now at at yeah. um at at five and a half months. Mm -hmm. Uh, we want so usually you wait at least a couple of months, and Before then uh, yeah. we wanted to we wanted to you know kind of enjoy this this this. It's very special. It's very strange and very you know in in our privacy, right? Um, but also, I'm also like simultaneously uh, like bursting at the seams to like tell everybody, right? Because ah, I did it, we right. Um, so you mentioned nice you headshot. Mentioned, what sorry? <laughs> nice headshot. Oh, that reminds me. I, I'll send <laughs> something to you, Wolves. Um, let me go and and find it for you. Uh, there it is. Just take a copy past of this. And there you go. That's for you. Um, uh, ultrasounds have come a long way. Because uh. I remember, I remember when I was a kid, my dad looking at an ultrasound going, I don't know where his baby's at. It's like now, no, you could tell. There's the head. There's yeah, the finger. Yeah, yeah. There's the little arms. Getting oh, ready to goodness. talk shit. It's gonna, 
dude, gonna talk so, so much so shit. Much shit, dude. <laughs> me and me and Paige were we were like we were we were uh, eating lunch uh, earlier before this, and we were talking about like. I don't know what I'm going to do because like you see kids say outrageous shit to their parents. Right. And they, they'll like, they'll like talk shit. And it's like, here's the problem. Wow. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious, but don't, don't laugh. Don't, don't laugh. You're going to, you're going to encourage it. So like, I'm going to be dealing with like a three-year-old who says he doesn't have to listen to me because I'm fat and I'm going to have to sit and stand there and just go, like that's yo, not nice to say no you you will get roasted and the dynamic where uh uh mom and kid double down on you as as the target point is yeah. just another it's just another flex it's just another new angle to it right yeah. what's better than dunking on you an assist into the yeah. double fucking hang time air you know slam windmill from the kid um now you can't you can't abuse the superpower that comes with like whispering sick burns to the kid to go relay <laughs> to no, I'm dunk gonna, up i'm not gonna do that i'm 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 afraid of my wife i won't do that she, that's she'll get me that's, um, that's dangerous but oh man so oh whew. And the little and the little legs, right, right down yep. there, and everything. The, okay. the tiny little legs that have followed my family for their entire existence. Hopefully, Dude. he'll have a long torso like his mama and be like a normal height. But who? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> not gonna hold my breath on that one. Uh. That oh. is, yo, no, that the the health news as well is super awesome. Like, that's the type of thing that, like, you know, all kidding aside, like, yeah, like with Paige, health is a, is a concern, you know. Yeah. And, and but it is that had it's not been a concern at all. Fuck yeah. Uh, okay. Eating well, uh, cutting out caffeine, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, you know, moving out to this fresh air, exercising mm -hmm. more. Taking Just, all the taking all the XP boosters and yeah, and, <laughs> uh, oh dude, we we have been taking we and super we have been fucking taking rare candies, prenatal vitamins yep. for like eighteen months. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, right. Yeah. It, not I'm not taking prenatals. I've been taking like you know men's health vitamins. Yada yada. Right, mm -hmm. uh, because like I probably am missing something. Right, so let's just make sure that everything is in perfect working order. And like, sure enough. Perfect working order. Like it has this moment of like you're planning the process and you're like, okay, well, we'll see. It'll be a couple of months, maybe. It'll be like, no. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Okay. Starting then, now. You think you have a lead up. No, it's now. Because sometimes, right, after you again, after all the XP boosters, then you go down to like you have to you take a step over and eventually you're like, I'm using the guatemalan pepper spice that only grows here at this time yeah. of year and they say that if you do this on a full moon then this is yeah. gonna you know and it starts getting a little bit more no, apparently dicey. i just need to be somewhere in the vicinity in of the my wife <laughs> <laughs> like family matters like you urkel just kisses lara and then it's like, yeah it's, it's yeah. magic there you go um damn six or approaching six. Yeah. So you want to hear the 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 day to day funniest thing? I lost a lot of weight, but I still got a nice healthy uh, dad orb. pouch. I'm mm -hmm. gonna call it orb. Um, affection, much affection in the home has moved to Christian side hugs because yeah. it. I can't. I can't. If I'm looking right at my wife. And I go to, it's nothing's happening. We can't, I can't reach her. It's, there's, there's too much orb. Mine for show, hers for purpose. You're already getting blocked. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like this, this has been my sympathy pregnancy orb that I've been working on for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think, I think it works. So there's all kinds of cool tricks you hear about. Uh, one of the ones I heard about was like, when the when the the stress and the back pain gets real heavy because it's like about to pop 
if mm-hmm. you just kind of go and from behind just kind of lift up the weight mm-hmm. that is like yep. a ridiculous release so, of stress off the board you know, off the back it's funny because like you know there's your physical symptoms and then there's your uh mental symptoms of pregnancy right so mm-hmm. uh some some women uh get uh emotional or mm-hmm. ornery or whatever mm-hmm. not Paige. Exactly the same. Hmm. Exactly the same. In fact, she's a little more chill. Hmm. Um, okay. The only thing is that um, every now and then we'll be sitting somewhere and she'll look at her phone and then she will just burst right into tears. Okay. And and I'll be like, what's wrong? And then she's like, the old people, uh, there's a story on Reddit about an old couple and they died. And sh- ah! It's just like, they're, whoa, yeah. there, there it goes. Yeah. Just yeah. Out, out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. I mean, that's, there's, yeah. At, what we, Last of Us episode three is a yeah. fucking, like, that's a that's a real test of, of whether you anyone so, can hold it together. <laughs> so, so we watched that episode. Yeah, when she when she was a couple months along, uh huh. And we had to, it took like two and a half hours to watch okay. that episode. Yeah, yeah. Because my wife was a blubbering mess. Absolutely, Could, like just oh my goodness. Absolutely. Ah, uh, damn, Gregnant. How? Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not absolutely. doing absolutely massively greg my my wife is in the family way she is with child (laughs) how how is babby formed you know well i i i'm i was for like months now i have been like imagining your reaction and i'm like i was like i had like a coin flipping in the back of my mind going like please be so shocked that you go how did that happen so i can like look at you like you're a dumbass because i have seen people do that rea- i have seen this that reaction yahoo answers out loud in real life yeah but but unfortunately but you're how? a mature adult now damn um, damn well like I said, uh, you know, like I think last week and, and before, it's like never made it this far into the game before, right? Never made it this far. This is a whole new level of it. Um, it's very new. And it's very new. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And, and, and at some point, two people leave the house and then three people come home. And that's it. Yep. That's it. And that's it. Well, yo, uh, fucking be holy shit! Be <laughs> Congrats be again to so everybody. Chaotic. That is, uh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh well, that there you go. Shells off my chest. Off the chest. Oh. Oh man, that is that is. So like we like we didn't even like w- like when we kept it private like my my mom and dad did not find out until relatively recently, like just just really wanted yeah and like and like for my mom there's always the worry like mm-hmm. you know it's her it's her grandbaby which was mm-hmm. which I always said ah oh, babies are stupid so she like kind of like gave up mm-hmm. and then I'm like hey mom guess what yo that's a great feeling mm-hmm. getting mm-hmm. to tell mm-hmm. your mom mm-hmm. that she's gonna be a grandma. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Especially if there's that little like s- little background pressure, like oh you know whenever you can, whenever yeah. you get around to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that is the right move too because uh, well you know I mean I I like I know a couple that had to try many times you know yeah, and it took a while and so it's best off to like give it a shot to yeah, be like so that's why it's how's the it going? norm to. To wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure everything's okay. And then once you do, you're like, all right. Looks like we're, we're all systems um, go. And again, can't stress this enough. Not only is everything okay, everything is perfect. Perfect. Okay, like, if within... Uh, baby is right now on size at 50th percentile. 50th percentile. That was the number I wanted to hear. And then... 
they're like, except for his legs. They're 20th percentile for legs. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh <laughs> god damn. <laughs> Oh no! Oh well. The saga continues. All right. Oh, uh, pay. I had forgotten. Page, uh, page is is letting me know, and also his belly right now is at ninetieth percentile. Okay. So he looks like me even now. Okay. <laughs> did you did you uh have any thoughts on the like uh boy girl reveal? I like, don't care. No, but like, no, not that part of it. I mean, more so like waiting versus not waiting versus finding out right away. Oh, no way. No way. Uh, they, I, like, they're like, do you want it to be sealed in an envelope? Some and we're people, like, no. Yeah. No. Okay. Info. Give me. Data. All right. Yeah. There, there, wa there was. Frame there data. was. Frame data that baby was, right now. <laughs> there was. There was the idea that was floated by me for a few minutes about getting it sealed and then mailing it to you obfuscated as to what it was that's wild and then and then telling you to open it live and then having you have a meltdown but i was like that's too much that's crazy that's, that's a lot Can't i would do that that's way too much i would have i would have said to you that's too much i would have absolutely you would have been told that is that is way too much but uh yeah no get all the data immediately oh. data mine the baby fucking yeah. stats line it up I know everything i believe in surprises okay Ugh. okay all right um all right i would like to take a quick bathroom yeah. break if that's cool with you that's, and go calm my nerves that's I am, about i'm i'm twitching here that's right on point let's do that bathroom break brb